I am just a lone man walking along this ocean, putting only my feet in the water as the sand curls with the currents. I always try to dive in, but the timid soul inside recoils, fearing being lost in the sea of millions while nothing happens except being swallowed by the tide. But I look around at the shores of where I am, and I see nothing for me here. This place carries a hopeless despair, and forces a fond apathy towards every waking moment. Sometimes I think I must have been marooned here after possibly killing a whole busload of nuns or something in a previous life. It's the only explanation that makes sense to me. It truly has to be karma. I'm caught in this vapid, circular, monkey-raping motion of working myself to death at a demeaning job so I can just pay my bills. I laugh and say that it's okay because I'm truly saving all my little bit of money for my own private island out there in the Caribbean, though at this point I'm starting to think that it's just a floating pile of debris, and it's in someone's swimming pool. Then sometimes I think this is more of a hostage situation here. Maybe I'm being guilted into continually living a life I never asked for, and that something is wrong with me if I just want out. Life has this Stockholm Syndrome grip on me. I need to reprogram myself to no longer love my captors and to set myself free. So I think I might try getting out there in that ocean again. Maybe there is a possibility I won't drown and that everything might get better. It doesn't have to, but it surely would be nice at this point. And while the shores of this horrible hell I'm in will never completely disappear, Maybe if I can get far enough out there in the expanse, they will vanish with the distant horizon. This gaping abyss might just become a pinprick hole in the bellowing fogs. I say that every morning the sun rises, I must make the commitment to do the same, and to live life. I also must not start so many sentences with first-person singular pronouns.